This is me. This is Allie. We're dating, but there's eight years between us. So many of my 90s references go over her head. So this is the show where we bridge our cultural gap. This is Allie Hesson. Hello, Bones. How are you today? Well, hey, Allie. Hi. How's your December going so far? Uh, not as Christmassy as I wish it would be, so I'm hoping a particular movie will get me into that. Oh, yeah? Like what? Can I see your shirt? Yes! This was my Christmas gift from the wonderful Douglas last year. Two of my favorite things put together, Christmas and Mass Effect. We're going to watch uh, The Muppets Christmas Carol. <gasps> yes! Apparently... You haven't seen anything by the Muppets at all? Wait, are Muppets and Sesame Street, is that the same thing? They're connected, and there's a little bit of crossover. I've never watched it. <laughs> you never watched Sesame Street? I never watched it, yeah. What, you were too busy watching the Starship Troopers? <laughs> Maybe. Weirdo. Yeah. Do you not know the story of A Christmas Carol? I know the story of it, but I've never actually seen the film. Any rendition of it? Wait, is there a Bill Murray one? Okay, so this is not your first Christmas Carol, but your first Muppets movie. Yes. Let's get started, shall we? All right. Oh, we're excited. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, I wonder if it, it's raining so loud. I wonder if the camera's going to pick it up. You know, I'm surprised you haven't seen, like, because you love Christmas so much. What Christmas movies have you seen? Uh, Are the Christmas is a big one that my sister and I watch regularly? Oh. This is the first Muppet movie that came out, uh, or Muppet anything that came out after Jim Henson died. Uh, Brian Henson's his son. Oh, I see. Um, Home Alone is one, is something oh, that yeah. I watch a lot. Everybody's seen Home Alone. <laughs> if Ali's seen Home Alone, everyone's seen Home Alone. <laughs> Have you ever read the novel, Christmas Carol? I don't believe so. I don't really read a lot of um, Charles Dickens. It's just a What Christmas does that mean? What? R Rizzo Rise the Rat as himself? Here, let me explain. Oh! Wait, what? Um... It's Michael Caine! <laughs> oh yeah, by the way. So this is basically, it's just telling the story of A Christmas Carol, but, um, the, the characters are played by Muppets, basically. Oh, okay, and the yeah. character, okay, and the, So, okay. And, and then in the credits, they're just given, like, their Muppet names. <laughs> um, I think they're still working with a lot of the classic Muppet guys. Well, definitely Frank Oz. I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay, well, let's say, apart from the Muppets, Frank Oz's most famous, iconic character that he played was Yoda. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is that? What was that red thing? Well, it was a flying meal. Welcome to the Muppet Christmas Carol. I am here to tell the story. And I am here for the food. Me too. My name is Charles Dickens. Liar. And my name is Rizzo the Rat. Hey, wait a second. You're not Charles Dickens. <laughs> what is he supposed to be? Gonzo? The, the blue guy? Yes. Oh, that's the story. Gonzo, Gonzo yeah. Rizzo, he's, uh, dead to begin he's, uh, with. Oh, whatever. As dead as a doornail. Yeah, he's not, he's not, he's one of the unidentifiable Muppet kind of creatures. He looks like Thank you, Rizzo. half You're bird, welcome, half Dickens. elephant in seal. <laughs> this is also the first movie I ever saw Michael Caine in. He was, she was just Ebenezer Scrooge for the longest time in my head. This Ebenezer Scrooge. What is that little thing? Mr. Pickles, Mr. Pickles, Mr. Pickles. Who knows? If it gave a prize for being me, the winner would be him. The Muppets kind of start off, well actually I think they start off in Sesame Street. And then they had The Muppet Show, which is more geared toward adults. Geared towards adults? Really? Not like it's inappropriate humor, but it's it's not just for kids, basically. Okay. Wow. He's young. When did that come out? 1992. It's not that he's young, he's just less old. After seeing all the political stuff that's been happening recently, and recently, I mean, in the past year, Scrooge doesn't seem that terrible of a person. How would the bookkeepers like to be suddenly I actually remember that one from the from the trailer. At that moment, 
We'd like to speak to you about a donation. He looks like a grape. And the other looks like a carrot. I never thought of him like that. They look delicious. I would agree. People like grapes. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Christmas human to the last. A Merry Christmas to you. I like him. He's and so sweet. Merry Christmas, Fred. Merry Christmas, Bob. If they'd rather die, then they'd better do it. And decrease the surplus population. <laughs> All right, think Never mind. He sounds like the politicians I've been listening to <laughs> for the past year. <laughs> the only difference is that he's got less sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> so it's coming his way. That's But I don't believe it. Oh, I gotcha. Your senses. Mm. He's not. <laughs> I love how his first question is like, who are you? As if they're, they're alive, they're well, not ghostly apparitions with chains. Why do they, why do they have chains? Well, they explain it. In the novel, it was actually only Jacob. They, were, they just accommodated the two Muppets. Let me get Jacob and Robert. It's good to be doing anything again. We should have known our evil deeds would put us both in shackles. Captain Bound, we're double iron, exhausted doom, Scrooge. You're doomed for all. I can imagine that if you were young enough, this would freak you out. This is why we, so many of us of this generation are anti capitalists. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I meant the ghostly thing, but oh okay. <laughs> but yes, that too. <laughs> Marley and Marley. <laughs> oh, can you imagine if that's how the Conjury went? <laughs> I want someone to make a Muppets version of the Conjury. <laughs> Where did they get that? <laughs> the grappling hook. <laughs> It's actually a nice special effect. I really like it. Yeah, I do. It's not as cheesy as I thought it would be. Your spirit, I... This reminds me of that Superman what movie when uh, Lois Lane and Superman were flying. Mm. And... You mean Superman? It is the car. <laughs> 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 the smell of the chalk. I like just how well he's taking this. Oh, spirit's gonna come and haunt me for a bit? Okay, cool. Are we gonna see my childhood? Awesome. I'll roll with it. It's me. I actually like his performance part of it. I'm looking forward to it, Headmaster. There's a boy who does not know how to interact with the Muppet. He looks very concerned. It's the fuzzy with Christmas party. Rizzo, come on! He is such a softie. So just grab hold of what, Scrooge? Stick. Yeah. Just the way he's interacting things immediately. I'm just like... <laughs> doesn't take that much to break through the shell. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke I never caught as a kid. There's this strange ongoing joke about uh, Gonzo and chickens. He has, this, he has this odd chicken fixation. So grumpy. Uh, he's just, he, he's, an, he's an animal, he can't contain himself, that's all. <laughs> it's not grumpy. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's the Swedish chef, the best character ever. Not gonna lie, he's a good looking dude. This guy? Yeah. Like, really good looking. He's a good match. He actually, yeah, he, he's a really good match. I'm, I'm impressed. He's some good casting. He's very pretty. I always just believed it as a kid, but now, like, looking at it as from a casting decision, I'm like, wow. Right. <laughs> so I told you, he can't contain himself. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. You did once. They broke up on Christmas? <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh. What? I thought there was a there was a whole song that was there. I'm pretty sure there's a whole song that they just cut out. And thus he remains. That's weird. Until the nearby clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, blood force trauma. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. It's true wherever you find love, it feels like Christmas. <laughs> It's so cute. <laughs> I actually like the sets too. Mm -hmm. It looks, I mean, it looks like a set, but it's, but it fits. But it looks fine. It does though. I wish to see friends, kin. A game, Fred. Yeah, we must have a game at Christmas. <laughs> Do people play games? <laughs> I, I love games. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? I'm... Look like Job of the Hutt. Yes no. Then is this an unwanted creature? Open. A mouse. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Rat. You called? Then what? Then what? What? It's Ebenezer Scrooge. Yes. <laughs> That's what I said. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll take it back. He's not very nice. No. <laughs> He's I a very sensitive no person mm. who craves to be loved. It's a season to be jolly and joyous. I think she just goosed him. Did you hear the squish noise? <laughs> I never noticed that. How do they have kids? Don't ask too much. Don't have any questions. It's golden better. It's the whole dragon donkey thing. Yeah. Fog machine! I would imagine Would that this is a, a creepy moment for kids. I think so, yes. Demi like, uh, the Dementors freaked me out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was 10 when that movie came out. So, back from the house. Oh, oh, checking out. Alice checking out. <laughs> Is that a spider? Well, it's not a very uh, realistic looking spider. Let's see if to be fair. Gross looking. Just look, dude. How many times have I got to tell you? That's his voice, I'm pretty sure. Life is made up of meetings and partings. That is the way of it. I am sure we shall never forget Tiny Tim or this first parting that there was among us. That's so sad. Is that not true? Oh, they got you. Who was the wretched man whose death brought so much glee and happiness to others? <laughs> oh, that, was a, that was a man in denial right there. Just look, dude. What have, how many times I got to tell you? <laughs> He's really grasped me a straw. He's like, clearly this one. A life can be made right. The room was his own. The door, the window was left open. It was My freezing in there. We <laughs> promised we would be. The present and the future. I'd be more concerned of how he died. Could be anything. Let's say, uh, dysentery. Oh, cholera. It's gotta be cholera. What? He's so cute! What, what about the poor rabbit? The dude's been, like, he, he's been begging for money. Guess they'll have to eat him, too. <laughs> it's the grape and carrots! I don't know who they are. Hey, grapes Tavern. Coincidence? I think not. No one else is gonna question like this completely change of personality. Well, I mean, what's he gonna do? Tell them the truth? <laughs> or I, I, I was hoping someone just like, what? <laughs> or, or this 
sense of disbelief. What, the, what is this? <laughs> there you go, there's that disbelief. <laughs> finished watching a Muppets Christmas Carol and or is it the Muppets Christmas Carol? I think it's that. We just finished watching the Muppets Christmas Carol. Nailed it. First impressions, how do you like it? Oh my gosh, it's adorable. It's um witty, especially for kids, but even to someone as myself who's a bit older, but kind of just like a grown-up kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're cute. I grew up with them. My mom especially really loved The Muppet Show. This is one of the one of the first Christmas movies I, I like, really loved as a kid. <laughs> I genuinely enjoyed their jokes. I was just kept in the moment the whole time. As of all the things that we've done so far for Ali Has It, this is my favorite thing that we've done. I thought you'd like it, you know, because great sense of humor. I, I really I really like the humor of the Muppets. It's like a family sense of humor too. It's, it's, not, <laughs> yeah. it's not just for kids, they don't dumb it down too much. I want to watch this every year now. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> That's so cool. What did you think of, of Mako Kang? Mako Kang! Oh, is that Benicia Scrooge? He was fantastic! He was actually adorable. And he, he wasn't nearly as grouchy as I would portray Scrooge to be, because he did give Christmas Day off. Reluctantly. Re reluctantly, but he did give it to them. I mean, I've had uh, some supervisors that were not nearly as nice as he was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So unfortunately, personal experiences uh, made you more jaded. It didn't take much to uh, break through that shell, too. You always kind of wonder, the, the people who are hardest on the on the outside, maybe the softest and He the just wants to be loved, and it really showed that, that after he died, he craved to be mourned after. I liked the sets, I liked the costumes, I, the songs were a bit kind of forgettable. There's not a lot of iconic songs, that's for sure. And like, it's, they're nice enough, they serve the movie well. The, the one I remember the best of the bunch all the time is the opening song where it's like, there goes Mr. Humbug, there goes Mr. Yeah. Grimm. Fred is not nearly as nice as he was portrayed in the beginning. He was making fun of his uncle. To be fair, his uncle probably gave him a, a real hell of a time. One thing you do have to remember is that um, this is a kind of a condensed version because it's sort of a, a sort of a kids version that's kind of like put into 90 minutes. In other versions of the Christmas Carol that are kind of even more true to the book, there's a lot more details about his relationship with Fred. So, so the only other version of a Christmas Carol you've seen is Scrooge. Yes, and that was a while ago. The one with Bill Murray, I think. Yeah. So that one is not a particularly faithful adaptation. Mm. It's a kind of a cool modern, modern, 80s modern adaptation. There is also a, a Disney version. It's called Mickey's Christmas Carol. It's like 20 minutes long. It's really rushed. Even though this one was condensed, mm -hmm. its pacing is really good. Yes, I agree. <laughs> so it gets a lot of the story beats pretty right. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it a lot. It's one of my favorite renditions. You cried. I did cry. This time you cried. <laughs> so it got your emotions to stir. I may have not cried for Mufasa, but I cried for Tiny Tim. So you do have a heart. <laughs> It's the kind of movie that I hope when eventually we have kids that it's, we'll have fun watching it with them. Oh yeah, they're not going to get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> I really genuinely enjoyed it. I want to watch it again for Christmas. There's another Muppets movie I want to show you in the future. Um, uh, Treasure Island? That's the one? Yes! Okay. You know, not for a little while though. Don't, don't keep me waiting for too long because I just might watch that without you. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> I gotta get myself a copy then. When did you first watch this? You know, I don't think I saw it in theaters, but we had it on VHS when it was released. VHS, man. Um, and I, we watched it every Christmas. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. 
So what did you think of The Muppets Christmas Carol? Please let us know in the comments below. Any other favorite Muppet movies? Please let us know. And I'll watch them. I made a new fan. There you go. Maybe next time, ooh, we should listen to some of the music I grew up listening to. Oh boy. <laughs> That'll really show your age. <laughs> There you go. I mean, you, you said the version of the... Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Bones!